Next is question number 10.6. Write the isomers of the compound having formula C4H9Br. So here the question clearly says that it has a formula given to us C4H9Br. We have four carbon atoms, nine hydrogen and one Br atom. Keeping this, you are supposed to write the isomers of that particular formula. Now, what do you mean by isomer? Isomer meaning I am going to have same molecular formula but different different structure. Alright, so I am going to have the same molecular formula but I am going to have different structure. So here, this is a compound given to us. So first thing, it's always easy for us to start with a straight chain. So here, what we will do is we will first draw four carbon atoms. So I'm going to put one, two, three and four. And let's put the Br, which is a functional group. We're done with that. And let's put nine hydrogens. Please remember that whenever you put your bonds around carbon, each carbon should have four bonds around itself because the valency of carbon is four. So this particular first carbon here is got one bond already. So it requires four more hydrogen. So I'm putting that. The second carbon here has already two bonds. So you could require two hydrogens more. The third carbon again is the same. And the fourth is also the same. Now let's count the number of hydrogens here. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 4 carbons, I have 9 hydrogens and I have a beer. The compound here is 1 bromobutane. Alright, now the same thing. I can put Br on the second carbon. This is one bromobutane because Br is on the first carbon. The same thing if I am trying to draw. I will just draw now that we know the basic structure. I will just condense it. So I am going to put CH3, CH2, CH, Br on the second position with the CH3 here. So what I have done? All that I have done is I have taken the Br from the first position and put it on the second position. So when I did that, one carbon went to the first position. Let's count the number of atoms. One Br, that's as given here. Four carbon atoms are here. Count the number of hydrogens. I have three plus two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here I have another isomer, which is two bromo butane. So this is maintaining the straight chain of carbon atoms without any branching. Now consider the first compound here that's one bromobutane and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take one of the carbon and put it as a branching. Of the four carbons, one carbon I'm going to take it and put it as a branch. So what I'm going to do is I'll preferably take the last carbon here. So when I do that I will get CH3 CH, CH3, sorry this is going to be CH2, this one is CH2 here, and I have a BR and that one CH3 will come as a branching below. So what happened to here? I broke down the parent hydrocarbon by one carbon. So parent hydrocarbon was a butane chain. I broke down to propane chain and put one of the carbon from the butane chain as a substituent. So here what will happen? The name of the compound is going to change now. So this is going to be 1 bromo 2 methyl propane. This is the structure. Now keeping the propane chain, I can't do any more things because whether I shift the CH3 this side or the other side, it's still going to be the same to me. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to further do one thing. I'm going to do another thing here. So here what I'm going to try is I'm going to take 
a ch3 c ch3 put a ch3 here and change the position of br br was on first carbon here i push that br to the second carbon here this is another isomer of this maintaining the propane chain as parent hydrocarbon so here the chain the position of the br will change that's all the remaining part of the compound is the same so it will be 2 bromo 2 methyl propane so here i have isomers of this particular formula where i have not touched the the number of atoms all that i have done is to shift the atom in such a way that the number of atoms are the same all right so these are the isomers of c4h9br